Hello everyone, um, I'm back again and this time I have got um, a TOG article summarised for you. This is the TOG article on Lynch syndrome um, titled as Lynch syndrome for the gynaecologist. Um, obviously this is my revision notes um, and a summary version of this so if you wanted to refer to the original article um, please visit the RCOG website which I have provided a link for you at the end of my video. So Lynch syndrome is an autosomal dominant condition. It's associated with colorectal, endometrial and ovarian cancer. For the purpose of this article, I have used, I've abbreviated endometrial cancer to EC and ovarian cancer to OC. So the Lynch syndrome associated endometrial cancer and ovarian cancer have generally got a good prognosis and for the endometrial cancer the 10 year survival is over 90%. It's a most common inherited cancer predisposition syndrome. The gynaecological cancer um, is usually the first cancer diagnosed in women um, which and accounts for 3% um, of endometrial cancer and 1-2% to of ovarian cancers. So, a person with Lynch syndrome inherits one pathogenic allele of the DNA mismatch repair. The genes involved are MLH1, MSH2, um, PMS1, PMS2, and it's the MSH6. So the article then goes on to mention some risk reducing strategies that you can um, offer um, women with Lynch syndrome. Um, so ideally they should be reviewed at 25 years of age, um, they should be informed about red flag symptoms to look out for, um, family planning and so forth. Um, if they have completed their family, um, you can offer them a total hysterectomy and a bilateral salpinger oophorectomy and at the age of 40 this is cost effective. Um, the best practice is to cancel these patients um, with um, presence of a clinical geneticist and a gynaecologist. Um, it's also um, good to offer these women um, a colonoscopy or a colorectal surgery at the time of hysterectomy to reduce exposure to anaesthetics. Um, obviously, um, taking the ovaries out, um, premenopausal can induce surgical menopause. Um, which can result in um, some of the side effects like vasomotor symptoms, urogenital dryness and atrophy, um, reduced sexual function, emotional um, liability, um, cognitive decline, increased risk of osteoporosis, colorectal cancer and cardiovascular disease. Um, so the recommendation is um, to use oestrogen transdermal um, Risk factors of endometrial cancer like age, obesity, type 2 diabetes, nulliparity, early menarche, um, late menopause and tamoxifen exposure can also be, some of these risk factors can be modified to in order to reduce um, the risk of developing cancer in, um, in, in patients with Lynch syndrome. So, some more um, risk uh, strategies. So, using the oral contraceptive pill reduces the risk of sporadic endometrial and ovarian cancer, which includes the BRCA1 and 2 ovarian cancer. Using the liver norgestrel releasing intrauterine system reduces the risk of endometrial cancer. Um, now, aspirin use has been linked to reducing the risk of all cancer types in patients with Lynch syndrome, um, actually in patients with Lynch syndrome carriers. Um, Lynch, uh, so patients who've got Lynch syndrome um, and are obese, aspirin has been shown to reduce risk of endometrial cancer. Um, again, in um, patients who've got Lynch syndrome, um, um, risk factors such as smoking, alcohol, increased BMI, um, increases the risk of colorectal cancer um, as well. So, um, Lynch syndrome is on the approved list of the Human Fertilisation and Embryology Authority, um, shortened to HEFA, um, and um, things like the pre-implantation genetic testing can be um, done for, um, for, for this. So for diagnosis, um, immunochemistry to pick up the MMR, MMR protein um, deficiency can be done. Sensitivity for this is 80 to 100 percent. Specificity is 60 to 80 percent. Um, microsatellite instability test can also be done. Um, marker of um, hyper 
um, mutation and this can be detected by um, PCR. The definitive testing is germline sequencing. Okay, so this was my five minute summary of this talk article. Um, obviously, this is my summary and um, by all means, um, do go through the original article um, so you get the gist of it. Um, please let me know if you think this video was useful. Um, like it, share it, subscribe to my channel and leave any suggestions in the comments box um, so I can continue making more videos for you. Thank you.